Sri Lanka's post-war recovery and reconciliation process needs to be continuously assessed and sincere attempts need to be made to keep things on track. Wherever we may live, as Sri Lankans, we too can contribute to this process and help make a difference in the lives of others. Next, we bring you an extraordinary story of a Sinhalese doctor who, following his return from the UK, is now in Manna, helping war-displaced people regain mobility and independence. Here's Kannan Arunasalam's documentary, Returning Lives, Rebuilding Limbs. Mary is a little bit of a challenge. Uh, she was brought to us by the army. Uh, she came to me about possibly about two months ago. She lost a leg several years ago. I think she was uh, um, either initial attack or landmine. I'm not sure. She requested that she, won't, she be given a leg without a waist belt because she couldn't wear it. We made one socket uh, about um, three weeks ago. That was a little bit tight, and I made a different socket now and uh, she has just worn that. She is quite happy uh, with the artificial limb. Uh, she has to walk about three miles from the main bus route, that is the uh, Mana Punarin bus route. And she has been walking that. And she is quite a, uh, quite a determined girl, I think. And it is a pleasure to treat people like that. You know, they, you do a little bit and they are quite, um, quite happy with that. Not like people in England who, for whom, you know, we do a lot and they, they are still not happy. So that is the, uh, the, the, the reward we get, uh, the sweet smile that she gives us and says, this is nice, this is very good. When I spoke to him, he didn't sound very enthusiastic. We call it rectification, that is adjusting the cast uh, based on some sound biomechanical principles and it's also an art uh, that you, you need to get it to look. I always tell my colleagues that the cast, when rectified, should look very sexy. It should, it should be almost an erotic bit of art because if it is angular and sharp and, and bendy, then it won't, it won't fit properly. By looking at the cast, you can say whether the patient is going to wear it or not. We had expertise, myself and another colleague who started the Meta Foundation, we had expertise in rehabilitation. So we then decided that this should be our, our patch, this should be our, our remit to help Sri Lanka. I feel very strongly that our people, or my people, I, I call them my people because I, I don't see the difference, uh, should get the best. I'm not happy to give them a third world or third class uh, component or artificial limb or anything like that. Because I, I know I've been practicing in this field for a long time. I know the, the standards, I know the quality, I know everything about the properties of these artificial limbs. So I give the best that, that I can and that is par with what we, we, we provide in the UK. I'm from a very simple background, my, my parents are teachers. And they had enormous respect for Tamil people. Uh, he would say, you have too much, you have too much comfort, I'll send you to Jaffna. He had Tamil friends who were teachers. I'll send him to I'll send you to Waitar in in Yalpan in Jaffna uh, to see what tough what difficult life is. And he used to tell me that uh, people will draw water from the well and and go to the banana tree and and pour the water over the head of the banana tree so that the, the water goes to the banana tree. Like and so these enormously resilient people they have gone through a hell of a lot and they are. They are very vulnerable, but they are optimistic, and they they always have a smile. And uh, I haven't seen over depression in, in one or two people only. I am not uh, responsible for, for being a single man. It is my karma. It is my my as a Buddhist, I, I believe in that. Um, I, I think I am fairly intelligent. I had the opportunity to study and become a doctor and then do all these things and acquire all this knowledge acquire a whole lot of influential friends who could uh, who would help me who were like-minded i didn't ask for that it just happened because uh, i believe that i i have been like that throughout my sansaric journey being single is or tamil or burger or, or white it doesn't matter there are enough good people in this world uh, and so far touch wood i mean uh, it, because it is a good thing that we are doing. 
we have not been in short of money and uh, of recent uh, other people have seen what we are doing and they have promised um, continuous support if your if your effort is genuine if you got the knowledge skills and 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 the means to deliver on what you promise for heaven's sake don't promise something and not deliver on that that is really 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 bad whether it is for tamil or singhali or english or whatever i i feel at at home in this environment i am not trying to go anywhere uh, but this is something that um, that is very natural to me